Okay, I'm recording. Hey everyone, I'm so glad that you're here for tonight's Zoom meeting. It's always a, a treat to see your smiling faces. <laughs> um, I really sincerely enjoy our time together. Um, tonight we're going to move kind of fast. I've got um, quite a few things on the schedule <laughs> and we have uh, a new little idea that um, Robbie came up with that I want to share and spend some time on. But um, before we get started, I'm going to let Jill, Jill, if you can unmute yourself, Jill's going to open us, and, um, and then Erica will, will move in after that. All right, y'all will pray with me. Um, dear Lord Jesus, um, help us to grow and to learn not only our business, but our, our minds and our body. Um, bring people into our path that need our help, not only with the with our products, but with the business part of it. Or just keep us all safe. We've got a lot going on with the holidays coming up. Just keep us safe and, and all of our travel. And Lord, just keep your hand on every, each and every one of us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, I'm going to um, share my screen real quick. I came across this little positive affirmation. I thought this is perfect for us because we get so stuck up and we want to blame everything but ourselves. So <clears throat> only as high as I reach can I grow. Only as far as I seek can I go. Only as deep as I look can I see. Only as much as I dream can I be. I'm, you know, just, uh, I, I do too, I, I just came across it and I thought, you know, that's, we're, we're so apt to blame everything, you know, why, why is our business not growing, why um, can't I find good quality people, well, you know, we're just not doing enough, we're not reaching enough, we're not trying to grow enough, um, so, and, and we're not dreaming big enough, so. Um, we we just have to keep that in mind that we have to continue to grow. Oh gosh, that was that was really great. If you don't mind, if you could um, throw that in the team page tonight or tomorrow, that that would be great. I think that's yeah. that's just a yeah. great affirmation. Okay, um, thank you so much for that, Jill. Um, I have asked Erica uh, to share about Block um, for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, and Erica will talk about this, but the company is really promoting Block right now uh, because of the holidays and the holiday eating. So this is a great time to talk a lot about Block. But, um, but Erica, I want to turn it over to you and let you let you talk about Block. Okay. So the original directions for Block are to take two capsules before a heavy carb meal or sugar. Um, but the Jules had a, a call, and so some of them were talking about. Some were taking it like one in the morning and one at night. Um, and so I think Lisa's going to share that video on our team page, or she may have already done that. But I looked on Rachel Rogers' page. I don't know if y'all follow her or not, but there was a big discussion on her page today, too, about it. I'm just going to read what she had on there, the rationale behind taking it at night in the morning. Um, she said that many of us eat late in the evening, so like after 7 or 8 o'clock at night, so any excess glucose is stored as fat. And when our body is at a resting state, it needs less glucose to function. So anything beyond what we're using is being stored as fat. So by taking it at night, then the block is able to go after all that extra that's in our bodies. It's just there that we're not needing and using overnight. Um, and so she said that some were still taking it before their meals too. Um, and then some were just doing morning and night. So I guess it's just a matter of personal preference on that part. So I don't know if you want to add anything to that, Lisa. Well, and, and I, I think I want to switch to doing that as well. Um, but I, I feel like for me, it would make sense because I, I typically eat lunch out with my coworkers. Um, I think I can see me still taking two at lunch. Mm -hmm. But I know in the video, and I will post that video, um, she did still say not to exceed four in a day. So right. you could do one in the morning, right off the bat, one at bedtime, and then still do your two for your, 
you know, your, your other meal. So, yeah. And um, I did see the email that had come through too also today and it had the code in there. Block 750 is the code for the 10% discount. So I'm not sure if that works for everybody or if it's just if, it, if you got it in your email, I'm not sure about that part. Yeah, I'm not sure either because I didn't get it. But, you know, I'm thinking about I should go and look in Daryl's email because he used to be a customer. Yeah, this <laughs> so, came through uh, yeah, with the preferred account. I may, mm -hmm. I may have one from him. And I expect, y'all, this is normally what happens when we get coupon codes. They intend it for one thing and then it flies around. Someone figures out it'll work. <laughs> and then everybody tries to start using it. Um, I have something to say. What? I take block every day. I mean, I do. I take I take block every single day, and that's what's really helped me lose my weight. Yeah, I know you're a big believer in it. How do you take it, Mish? I take one in the morning, one at night, and then I take two at lunchtime. Ah, Mish, you've been holding out on us, <laughs> not telling us your routine. <laughs> well, th this is the thing. Okay, I started taking it you know, right before I eat, ate a meal, okay? Um, there was a lady, and I cannot think of her name right now. She's one of the, I think she's an Emerald Ambassador, and she was talking about taking block every single day and not missing one. You know, instead of doing it, like if you eat a high-carb meal, start taking them every single day. Gotcha. So that's what I've been gotcha. doing, and I'm telling you, I'm dropping the pounds. Ah, I'm so proud of you. So, hi, Valerie. <laughs> Valerie just jumped on. Um, Valerie, I want to catch you up here. Um, well, we just opened. We just opened with a word of prayer, and then Erica uh, shared about law. And um, there's a new kind of a new protocol. Some some people are playing with on on how they're using their block and then taking it at bedtime. Um, but anyway, there's a video that I'm going to post in the team page about it, so you'll get to see that. Okay, listen up. Robbie had a great idea. Um, you know, we, we want to be the go-to for healthy. Um, of course, our healthy supplements are a given, but healthy lifestyle, healthy eating, um, you know, there's, it's not just a one-size-fits-all. You take some supplements and you're good. We all know that. We've all experienced peaks and valleys with, with our weight loss journey. Um, but with our potentials, we want to be that person. Um, Robbie ran across this page, and I'm, I'm going to share my screen. And, and we're going we're gonna to do something kind of taking off on this idea. This, this is a Facebook group here. Uh, called low carb and losing it. Well, in this group, it's a huge support group. Low carbs, healthy ideas, healthy diet, all kinds of different things such as that. Um, the thought is, we we're just going to try this out, y'all. We don't want to take off and bite off more than we can chew, um, but we're going to try. Uh, what did we decide to name it, Robbie? <laughs> Healthy, <laughs> help me here. Uh, healthy recipe, healthier recipes for the holidays. Along yeah. that, line. that way, we're really going to only kind of commit through through the holidays. And then if it's going well, we can rename it and, and keep it going. But the thought here is that we can add friends, we can add potentials, we can post it on our pages. Y'all, recipes are a good draw. A lot of people just like recipe pages. So it's not really going to be a plexus page but it's a place to build relationships, a place where people can trust us, you know, in a person, as a person who can help them with those healthy decisions, those healthy choices. And then once we kind of get that, I mean, I, absolutely, we're all Plexus ambassadors, but we're not going to just glass the page with Plexus. But Robbie had some good ideas, some P96 shake ideas and, and different things like that. Um, I'm going to make it a closed group that will need pending approval. That way, you can even say if you do it on a garage sale page. You share it. Hey, we've started this um, healthy recipes page. Someone will have to send you a friend request to, to be added to that page. 
Does that make sense? Uh, because, you know, I want you to keep up with who you're adding to the page because we're not going to mix up. And I mean, and it's okay to talk to different people on the page, but, and this is a page for our team. I'm not opening this up for everybody. This is, this is for us to use. Um, what, if you decide you want to join the page, I think we all need to just for our own healthy journeys. But if you want to start adding um, potentials, add your customers, oh my gosh, hey, we've got a, a new um, healthy recipes page. You know, we're, we're just going to share health, healthy recipes and tips. Um, it, it's okay for me to interact with somebody at Robbie's or for Jill to talk to, you know, one of Valerie's people if they're asking a question or posting. That's fine because we're a team and we've got each other's back. No one on our team is going to steal anyone from anybody. This is just going to be a great support page. Um, what do y'all think? What, great, I think great recipes are a good draw for people. My yeah. thing with it was a lot of times people say, well, you take Plexus, what do you eat? And we say, well, there's not, you know, we don't have like a Plexus diet, but you know, we all need healthier alternatives to the things that are out there. Like, you know, a healthier dessert recipe for Christmas or something like that. You know, um, I would love to go on a page and just find recipes for things that are really good that people want this time of the year that are not as bad as the normal choices, you know. And then if somebody makes something that somebody else has posted on there, Hey, hey, I made this. It was awesome. You know, just kind of, we can just kind of bounce back and forth and just make it not so much about Plexus, but let them see how we think, how we eat, you know, the different things that we're making and how we incorporate healthy uh, foods into our life. You know, yes, Erica. Um, is it geared more toward lower carb recipes or just healthy in general? What are y'all, what are you thinking? What are you thinking, Robbie? Actually, we talked about that. I think when we post a recipe, because everybody's idea of healthy is different. Some people right. don't do sugar. Some people don't do meat. Some people don't do carbs. I think we need to post and say, this is a low sugar recipe. This is a low calorie recipe. This is a low fat recipe or a low carb. We kind of need to know enough to say, because everybody's going to be on different types of diets for them. Mm -hmm. that we need to say this is a lower calorie diet or a low sugar diet, a low sugar recipe. So you kind of need to, if you're getting it off of a low carb page, you know it's a low carb recipe. And just kind of go with it that way. You know, and I, and I can even think of, you know, to make the page a little more interactive, I could be in Kroger and I could see something that I think might be a healthy option. And take a picture and put it on the page and say, you know, hey, everybody, what do you think? Do you think this would be a good choice? You know, to create some, some conversation in the page. Yeah. Um, and ask questions on there. We all need to participate. And so what is the best choice for a thickening agent that's low carb? You know, I mean, we need to go on there and ask the questions that we would ask and try to help each other with those things. And in the meantime, we'll be helping other people too. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a win-win, and and I, I feel like by making it a holiday recipes through the holidays, not just holiday recipes, but healthy through the holidays kind of recipes page, that um, we'll we'll get more buy-in right now. But I mean, Maybe like you know, better choices or something like that. Right. Better choices, you know. Erica, you had a question. Yeah, I can see also too where it would help like our customers, not just our ambassadors because now we have team pages, but somewhere where our customers could connect with us somewhere outside of Plexus and then who knows where that could go. You know, they may switch to wholesale or just because they're connecting with this outside of the business part maybe. Right, connecting with us just as a community. You know, that, that they're, they're part of this thing that we're doing. Um, you know, it, and I think once it kind of gets going, we can sprinkle a little bit of something about Plexus or, uh, you know, but we'll just kind of have to feel that out and see how the page is going. I think the main thing is going to be interaction. We got, we really need to interact on this page. If you see something you like, comment on it. 
because that's what I found in my Get Healthy with the Walkers page. I don't get enough interaction to keep it interesting. And I think with all of us joining in on this, if we can interact and ask questions and do that sort of stuff to keep it interesting, it'll work better. Great. Oh, and here, here's another good idea to throw in there. Um, with all of the holiday recipes coming up, you know, we're all sure we, we all love the good, rich, um, creamy, full of carbs recipes. But if we can make some some short some some better choices as far as those recipes, they like if it calls for a cup of sugar. If we can substitute that cup of sugar for a cup of stevia, I mean, wouldn't that make it you know, less calories? So, yeah. You know, we, we still want those great recipes that were handed down from from you know our grandmothers and our mothers mm -hmm. and our great grandmothers. If we can make a little healthier choice in the in the recipe itself, you know that'll bring those some of those sugars and carbs down. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, so that's great yeah. another way to add into that. Yeah. We can do it from all different angles. Yeah, yeah. You know, I did notice on that big page that Robbie just added me to, and I can add y'all to that one too because it's just interesting. Um, I mean, that page is so large that they've got in, in their albums, that they've got things organized. We're not there yet. Right now, this is just posting, sharing, commenting. Ooh, looks good. Oh, yum, I might try that. Uh, Robbie, what do you think about the, you know, what <laughs> have you? Just interacting. Yeah. Hey, Valerie, I know you're muted, but give me a nod. Do you think it's a good idea? You didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you know, I, I want I want to be that connection for people. And when Robbie mentioned this to me, I want to be that connection for people where they trust us in general because we are trustworthy, and I want them to trust us in general with choices, lifestyle, etc. You know, and it, it can't hurt any of us to eat healthier along the way, anyway. Like y'all know, Robbie did that. She went live. No, oh, a couple of weeks ago, making spaghetti squash. I've never done that in my life. And I was like, oh, wow, watch her. How's she doing that? Wait, what'd you do, Robbie? Did you bake? <laughs> that would be a good idea. I'm just curious. How did that turn out, actually? Because it looked good. great. It was great. It was good. Yeah. But does it taste like spaghetti? No, it tastes like spaghetti squash. I mean, <laughs> spaghetti noodles. <laughs> Spaghetti noodles don't, they don't really have a lot of flavor. Spaghetti squash has a little more flavor, I think. It's kind of a nutty, buttery kind of flavor to it. But you get used to it. You just get used yeah. to it. I quit I'm going to be honest with you. I have eaten more chicken than I have eaten in probably 30 years in the last two weeks. We, and we need to get you some new recipes. There you go. No, this will be a great group. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, honestly, the chicken was one of my things when I was pregnant with Darcy that made me just like if I even saw chicken, it didn't matter if it was shit, if it was raw or cooked or whatever, I automatically got sick. And before I got pregnant with her, chicken was one of my favorite things. So I've had to really <laughs> get you. We need to talk, Phil. I need to give you some good recipes. Has anyone used, um, or I mean, I have, but, but has anyone used it like that instead of spaghetti, use zucchini noodles? The what? Instead of spaghetti, you use zucchini noodles. I've heard yes. of this. Very good. No, but I have been buying it. I have been buying a noodle, um, and it's in Walmart, but it's it's a pasta, but it's protein and rich. And I thought, well, if I'm going to buy a pasta, I'm going to get one with some protein in it. <laughs> wow. And and they taste fine. To me, it's a better taste. I can hear the I can hear the um, nutrient facts, and it really came out just as well as the wheat pasta, and it tastes just fine. So I, mean, I compared the cards, I compared everything, and it came out, you know, it's, it's comparable to a wheat pasta, but it had actually had more protein in it. So, I don't know. It's not a great choice, but it's better than it. Um, I've, also, I've also tried, instead of mashed potatoes, cauliflower potatoes. 
Now, see, I've never done that. And we can talk about that in the pantry. Or if you're making them dish, you could like uh, go live when you're mixing them up. I'm making cold pepper potatoes in the group. Why not? Uh, I'm, not I'm, not huh? I'm not a cook. I'm not a cook. I am not a cook. I'm just trying to learn. <laughs> Uh, I am though. So, I'm going to make it as a closed group though, so that people have to be at it. Okay. It's not going to be secret. I mean, they'll, they'll still be able to see it, but it, they'll have to be added to them. Um, okay. We'll get that page made, and then um, I'm going to do some kind of pin post at the top. Um, so, so that'll be a good thing. And then we'll we'll start adding ourselves, and uh, we will start adding potentials, and start sharing, and adding customers, and let's. Everybody, find something Gail, Gail said in front of you to tell a lot of diabetic holiday recipes. Perfect. Absolutely. And that's great for everyone. So, okay. So I want to talk about this. We've got the planner going on. The, and I, I'm Can you meet everybody? I called the other night. A few of you are. Haley Neville talked about wanting that planner. She's like, it's not just a planner, it's a trophy. <laughs> it's like, look what I want. You know, when we're commenting on a page and who won the who won the planner and a picture of yourself with your planner, um, you know, it's more than just a planner. Y'all, I'm excited about the planner and I'm working on it. Um, I'm getting a new customer this week. We've already talked. Um, got, got several potentials to wrap up, um, and I, I feel certain that I'm going to get the planner. Um, but it's it's taken work, y'all. Three customers and or ambassadors. Um, they don't just land in your lap. It takes outreach. It, it, it takes posting. Absolutely, you need to do your posting, and that's important to show you're in business. But, you know, it, it takes outreach and, and messaging people or calling people. Y'all, I've been picking up the phone. Oh, what a difference that is. <laughs> Imagine. Um, <laughs> but, it, you know, it, it helps. And having just that real face-to-face -face intentional conversation with people. Um, so work on the planner. Has any, how's everyone, anyone doing on that? I think a few of you have one. Robbie, you have one. Erica, don't you have one toward it? Jill, Nish, Valerie, okay. Y'all, let's get busy. We have, we cannot let these other teams outdo us. We have got to get our planners. We just need so, the planner. We all need the planner so we can be better organized. And so we can be better organized. <laughs> it's more than just a trophy. I absolutely, um, I need the organization. Y'all know that about me, and I'm, I'm excited about it. Uh, Jill's already using another planner, and, and she really likes it. So how awesome will it be to have one that's Plexus specific? Um, that's gonna be great. Um, we have an opportunity meeting this week, and all of us on the call, except Erica, um, are local. But, Robbie, can you talk just for a minute? You've been doing some research on inviting people to opportunity meetings. Can you okay, guys. on that? Yeah. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about it. I don't know if y'all are like me, but, like, at the first of the month, I reboot. Everything from the following month, I just kind of like, okay, that's last month and I start over. But in the case of our opportunity meetings, we don't need to do that. Do y'all do that? Do y'all like on the first of the month think I'm starting all over again? Nobody answers. <laughs> anyway, a little so bit. Yeah. what we need to do is as soon as we have our opportunity meeting, like when we had ours on October the 20th, as soon as we were done with that, the people that we talk to right after that, at the end of each week on our calendar, we need to write those people down who were interested, who ask questions, anybody that we may be wanting to invite to the next opportunity meeting, because there's a whole month in between, and I tend to forget the ones I talked to a month ago. So at the end of my week calendar, I write down any any potentials, anybody that's asked me questions, anybody that's joined a contest or any drawings that I've had or anything like that, I write them on that week, that weekend. And then when I get ready to start inviting, when Lisa sends out and tells us that um, we're going to have the opportunity meeting on the 17th or whatever it's going to be, at that point, I go on in and invite people that I know I'm going to want to invite. You know, and I make sure you write those people down at that time. 
it's okay that it's two weeks, three weeks ahead of the, the event. It's okay because if they're interested in coming, they're going to write that on their calendar right then. And it may keep them from scheduling something else at that night because they may really want to come. So go ahead and send that invite at the beginning of the month. And then the, we normally have our meetings on Thursdays. So what I do on Monday, I just sit down with my list of all of those people. Most of them have already been invited because I do that, you know, each week as I add them to my list. Um, but I go through that list again and I write to them and say, um, hey, Jill or whoever, you know, uh, I just wanted to send you a reminder about the meeting this month. It's going to be Thursday night, you know, and you can put it in whatever words you want. I know you were really interested in the product and this is a great time for information. Hi, she froze. Is Robbie frozen for y'all? Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, Robbie, you're frozen. I'm, I'm going to take over here. Y'all, and, and Ethan, um, messaging people. Are you back, Robbie? Yeah, I'm here. Can y'all oh, hear me? Froze. <laughs> we lost you. I'm uh, sorry. Y'all froze. <laughs> oh, we fro well, you froze. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyway. anyway that, that, but that's good. I mean, what she's saying is be consistent and work with it and reaching out to people. And you can copy and paste that event page and send it to them once you've made a list of who you've sent it, you know, sent it to. Hey, you know, hey, you Mary, want, wanted you to know I, um, I sent you an invitation and, you know, check your events. Yeah. Because people don't see their events. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. You can hear me now? Okay. On Monday, what I do is I contact each of those people that I know are most likely to come on that Monday. And you, you have to start it on that Monday because you don't want to wait till the night before. Start it on that Monday and say, hey, I'm reminding you the meeting is Thursday. Are you thinking you're going to be able to come? It's freezing again. Uh, doggone it. Anyway, um, Robbie, you're freezing. Yeah, she, she needs to type this out for it. That's right. Start on Monday yeah. and then yeah, type it out for us, and we that way we can but, we but have. You know what she's saying, and I, and what I'm hearing from Robbie is, you know, you get your list, you're being you're being intentional with who you're inviting, and you know you're sending them a message. But you know, don't don't forget you can pick up the phone, you know, even. And I know Robbie does that too. Um, you know, hey, you know, hey, Mary, um, you were interested in the products before. We're having an opportunity meeting Thursday. Love to have you there. Can I count on you? Can I count on seeing you there? Um, some people are getting there early and ordering dinner or, or what have you. Um, but, you know, keep it casual. Keep it friendly. And, and don't keep them on the phone. You know, hey, Mary, I just uh, real quick, two minutes, you know, and let them know that you're not going to keep them on the phone. Um, you know, I mean, I would appreciate that. And, you know, let's try to get people to this meeting on Thursday at the Country Tavern. How many of y'all are coming? Valerie, did you get your schedule cleared where you can come? You are? I, I, I'm i going to try, yeah, and I'm looking to try to find somebody to come with me. Yeah, girl, even if you just bring a friend, say, hey, I need someone to go with me to this Plexus meeting. <laughs> just, just bring That's a friend, a uh, especially yeah. with you being new. That's a great opportunity to, hey, I'm a little nervous to go. Can you go with me? Okay. Um, you know, we've been doing it so long, we can't use that one. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not nervous. Um, but, you know, you know, tell them you're excited about it. You want to see what they think. You want their opinion. So, you know, bring, it, try it, bring a couple of people. You know, and swing by and pick people up. You can do that, too. So, oh, y'all, we've had a... Good call. We have three minutes left. Let's see. Is there anything that we didn't talk about? Oh, Super Saturday. Super Saturday. Erica is registered for Nashville. I'm registered for Dallas. No, no I'm still debating on Nashville. <laughs> Dallas did open back up. Jill, you're registered. Connie, Robbie. Nish, are you registered yet? You are. Did you say I'm Dallas opens back up? Jill. Nish, I can't hear you. Did you just say Dallas over back up? Yeah. 
Yeah, Dallas um, opened back up. When? I, just, I posted it on the team page. It opened back up a couple of days ago. But it, okay. it should be fine. Okay. I think they're up. But I, this is how we had to find it. Robbie had to do this. She had to go to her emails and um, search Super Saturday registration. Because there's not a link in the back office. And then it pulled up that original in there. Okay. So search your emails. Now we're what we're talking about Super Saturday. Now a lot of people here go to Dallas, but most of here is also Little Rock and Houston. But this group, most of this group is America is going to Dallas. It's just a one day training from 12 to 4. You can make a day trip of it. We'll have different people going, and it is awesome, awesome, good training, and it's fun. It's just a good, a good day trip. We're going, we're going to the opportunity meeting the night before and then to the uh, meeting the day of. So if you want to go with us, Valerie, just uh, check with us and you're welcome to ride with us if you want to. And if you don't want to go the day before, seeing an opportunity meeting done by Diamonds is, is pretty awesome. But um, uh, you may have someone in Dallas. Um, two years ago, I took my cousin and his fiance. Um, you know, hey, I'm going to be in town. There's a big place. Hey, why don't you come go with me? We'll go to dinner later. Um, you can do that. Or if you just want to do a day trip, there will be a lot of people from here just going over for the day from all different teams. So it's, it's only 1999. Yeah, it's 20 bucks. <laughs> and they always give us materials and all kinds of things. Um, are there any more questions? I don't need a Super Saturday registration. It. Nish, if you do an email search. I'll help her with it when we get off of here. Yeah, we'll, we'll help you with it a little bit, babe. All right, okay. Okay. Um, Y'all, let's make this week count. Let's all earn our planners. Uh, follow up with people. Contact people. Post consistently. Post genuinely. And get those people invited to the meeting. Come on. Get people to the meeting. <laughs> so, and building those relationships with people. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm going to say. Hang on, I'm going to stop recording.